Yeah, hey, what's up, y'all? Happy Friday to you. Welcome to September for beginning or beginner investors. Welcome to the month of September. The market shall give it and the market shall take it away. <laughs> it's gonna be a it's gonna be a rough month. I'm telling you, this month and it can go into October too. So I've been telling y'all for the last couple of months to cash up. The thing was good in July and August. I was putting in them in those comments. Well, inside my videos, I put, say, hey, remember September is around the corner. So don't spend everything because the market will drop. That's the worst month. I was telling y'all it might can stay up being that it's an election year, but I don't know. But this been all the way through history that September is the worst month of the market. And we about to get on through it. We're going to cash up. Like me, I'm about to buy 3 to $5 worth of everything. I'm not about to go hard on nothing but RYLDs and monthly dividend payers. Y'all can follow me or do as you please. I'm going for monthly cash flow. I am buying some growth stocks. I did buy some um, uh, NVIDIA today. <clears throat> It's going, it's, going, it's going to be a long video, not very long, not no hour, but we're about to get on through it. Just showing the things I brought that are down, that are buying holes. This NVIDIA, video at 101. I brought $10 of that. One of my portfolios, I brought AMD. These are uh, the chip manufacturers. I brought AMD. AMD is down, and I brought Intel. You can do as you please. Intel is the cheapest out of all out of all of these. I'm about to get some in this portfolio. Also, ten dollars in this one. I got two. One I'm a swing trade and let rip, and one I'm a hold. <clears throat> um, what else did I get? As far as a growth stock, I would let you know. Another one right here. We about to get into is Charge Point. Which is the growth company. Y'all know this deal with the EVs. It's at 136. It's got down to 131 a day. I'm buying and holding this. One thirty one. See, if you're going to lower your average, my average cost is $192. If you're going to lower your average cost, it's the time to do it now. <clears throat> I know it hurts. I know you might be a little scared, but you got to hold your nose and buy. All right, let's do our monthly payoffs. QYLD is finally down in my buy range. QYLD. I will be probably putting some money in my account over this weekend. So this is the time for you to put that money to use. QILD. Excuse me. Is that 119? Putting a hundred worth on that. My 17, 8, 18 is that. Got to get me at least five shares, shares, shares of that. Lower my average cost. I'm about to go hard on QYLD at this price and down. I'm just telling y'all that now. Pays the dividend of 17 cents a share. I'm going to go to take a ORC, another real estate REIT. I'm gonna, I buy one share of that every day. Pay 12 cents a share a month, 12 cents a share. At 12, this way is where it is. I'm going to get $10, $10 worth. These are monthly pairs. Um, we're going to go to HRZ and Horizon. That's down at 11 bucks. I had to get a share of that every day, which I done got a share already a trigger. That's how I know it's down there in the buy range. I'm going to get another five bucks. I done brought a share already today. 
I'll go to Horizon. I'll look at this. Y'all put it in. Get get your note your notepads and pens ready. Sorry, sir. Said that at the beginning of the video. Um, USOI. We did QILD. Boom. We did Horizon. We did Charge Point. Let me mark this down. So I'll go over on USOI. It's cover calls on uh crude oil. Made a new 52 week low. One dollar calls average down in this five dollars worth of that USOI. Well, hey, welcome to September, but this the time for you to get it in. We're gonna go Coney. These are the yield max ETFs I'm about to go on through. Eleven sixty nine. Five dollars worth of coney. Trying to lower, let's say, trying to get my hundred shares in this. We got coney. Uh, TSLY Tesla. That that went on down. I think I'm gonna drop five grand in this account on Monday. I'm gonna use margin with it, and I'm gonna double it to ten to get me through this season. And I let the dividends pay it, pay it back later. TSLY, five dollars worth of that. These are monthly pairs. Once you get your hundred shares, you don't have to invest anymore. You can just reinvest the dividends because they pay out, pay out month, pay out monthly. That's one thing about high yielding, what they call risky. You can always just sit back and reinvest the dividends. Let that stock and money go to work for itself. That's my that's my strategy with it. Eighteen forty two AMZY. Five dollars worth. So I'm about to go get a loan in order to get on to put this money inside the market. Cause I'm up. I paid pay it on back in the year, 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 year's time, and we're gonna roll because when this market take off, this it's gonna be bullish for a couple years. It's gonna be a couple years. I'm gonna just be cash, be cashing up. For any of my 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 buy range, I'm not buying nothing. I'm not dollar calls averaging that high high prices. I am not doing a thing. When I say a thing, I ain't doing nothing. I ain't doing nothing but, but traveling. I'm telling you now. All right, that's why I bid on Bitcoin. Another one I'm down in. Just for me, um, like I was telling y'all, this is a uh, SBSW. That's a um what the precious metal mining company. Five dollars of that. Another one of my favorites. One I will I will be buying QYLD and RYLD. These are less volatile than the yield yield maxes, but don't pay the 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 dividend yield yield yield, yield max pay. See, I can actually just take the dividends monthly from yield max and just buy RYLD and QYLD, and I'm fine. RYLD pay like a tw twelve point. 8-2% yield, and QYLD pays similar to it. Just one trades the Russell 2000 RYLD, and QYLD does the NASDAQ 100, which seems to move faster. All right, this got down to 1878, 1578. I did buy five shares of this today. About to get another five dollars worth right in front of y'all, but it did trigger five shares today for me. And you see, I got eight fifty nine working towards my um one thousand shares. This is gonna be the time you know to do it. I'm gonna get get some money, and I'm gonna go in on QYLD and RYLD because I need to lower my average cost in it, and also ORC, especially if it dip over that under that eight eight dollars range. O A R K. I look at me going to get a loan, it's like real estate. That's like you're getting a mortgage on, on your house and it pays pays back monthly. Like me going to pick up rent, cash flow. Which I explain to y'all every just about every video. O A R K. That's that's the ARC ETF. Everything is getting beat down. Bank stocks coming down, but not in my buy range yet. We're gonna go through the stocks. I'm gonna go K L I P clip. China, China crane says today everything is down. 
So there's no reason for me to set no buy range on any, on, on any, anything. As you can see, I'm just five dollars in everything. That's why I tell you the importance of cashing up. Got to cash up. That's why on the weekends, for y'all that can do it, you go Uber so you can have money to invest for these kind of times. Do I have cash, five grand of my own money I can go pull out? Yes. Do I have to get a loan for five grand? No. But I like to keep my own money. I go get theirs. I pay it, I pay it, pay it, pay it back. I can get me about five grand right now with a transaction fee of three three thousand dollars from one of my credit my, my credit cards from Bank of of America. I got one with a credit limit of twenty two grand. I can get off one sixteen on the other and twelve on another one. And I might go get the whole ten and just put it in put it inside of my uh brokerage account. All right, we're going AMD Y. Get five dollars of this. And I look and I look at it like me investing in, in like get getting a loan, investing it in into into real estate. Like it just monthly cash ca ca cash flow to me. That's the whole purpose of having real estate. It's monthly pass passive ca cash flow. You want to make money without doing nothing, making your money go to work for you. This misty, okay. This this does cover cover calls on micro strategy. The reason this stock is down, MSTY trades according to Bitcoin. Bitcoin is at fifty four thousand now. I'm gonna show you. BTC is at fifty four grand. See, bit, bit, Bitcoin is down 2,500 bucks a day. So when Bitcoin is down, micro strategy will be down. That's how I know when to go in and, and uh, buy it. I look at Bitcoin. See, yeah, your boy got it. I got, I got, I got this down to a science, man, a T. 1472, this USOY, this another, uh, does options on oil too. U-S-O-Y, and I told you, U-S-O-Y and U-S-O-I. I got U-S-O-Y in another portfolio. Portfolio. I did get a uh, a share that today. Uh, charge point, we did uh, S-D-I-V. S-D-I-V is the Global X uh, Super Dividend ETF. Got a dividend yield in the double digits, too. Uh, 21.96 is that in my buy range? I like this 22 and under, and it does pay out month monthly. 21.96 is keeping up to where it was at, and that is everything. Now. Now let's go to um. Just look through the market and see what's happening. Like I told you, gonna be a sort of long, long video. It's not, as you see, all the bank stocks. Look at these: RF, USB. RF is re is regional, uh, fi region financial. USB Bank, Citi Citizens Bank. You got Key 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 Corp Bank. Let me take this thing out of my my um a retainer I had in. You got you got key you got key bank uh bank of uh, America's B A C H B A N is is Huntington Bank you got Ally Bank as you notice it's the same pattern with all of them bank stocks are down. Am I going to buy any of these? Yes I yes I am. Just when they get under my average cost I am. I'm still up in these stocks and most of them pay a decent a decent dividend. I don't plan on selling any of of, of my bank stocks until um. <clears throat> until after the interest rate cuts once they cut these rates the financial and the REIT sector sectors are going to benefit from it the real all the real estate REITs they're going to shoot up all the bank stocks <clears throat> are going to shoot up that's why i hold i'm holding them because i know they're going to make new 52 week highs this is stock I want to pull on back under the $5 range, uh, PSEC. I've been giving y'all this one for the longest. 
I've been buying five shares a day. This ain't $5 or nothing. I've been mentioning this in the video for the longest. I've been telling y'all to buy this stock. Y'all could have been getting this stock. You got a 52 low at 469, 470. Y'all could have been buying this at five dollars, loading up. Uh collecting, getting paid like this here. Payment I got six cents a share dividend. Six 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 cents a share per month div, div, dividend. I've been giving y'all that play for the for the longest. Whether y'all want to listen and buy it, it's on it's on y'all. <clears throat> um that's P set. NEWT. Coming on down. That's fine. It's time for me to lower my average cost. Y'all been seeing me trade that from y'all the ones that watch all of my, my, my videos. A lot of y'all y'all don't. Y'all watch the first three to five five minutes of it, which is fine. Your money, your your future. But for y'all that don't know 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 how to trade, you don't want somebody giving you the game the game free, showing you stocks to buy and why and why and why to buy them and all that kind of stuff. I mean, it's on it's on it's on y'all. I get some stuff in comments and messages. People like, hey, um, you know what uh stock should I should I buy? I'd be like, dude, the video there in front of you. Same video you comp you sent me a message and comments on. You could have watched the video and got and got your own your own answer. All right, we got UDR 3.8% yield. Show you what I'm gonna do here. Um 52 week high is 45.10. It's a hold, it is near it. P.E. ratio 109. I am up 17-something percent. Ain't got a lot of money in it. I'm going to sell it, and I'm about to buy RYLD. Make sure everything good. I'm up $7.98. Average cost $37.10. Cool. Sell all. Before, before this thing tanks and drop, and I'm about to buy more QYLD. Just for the dividend yield, and I need to come on down, come on down in this. So that's UDR. I got some money off that one. UVV. I should be up good in this one too. Universal Holdings, 67 is the 52 week high. I hold this one. This one gonna go up, go up some. Ain't got a decent, a decent, decent yield. Uh, Duke Energy 116, 52 week high is 118. I got Duke Energy in another portfolio. Guess what? I'm about to sell this one too. Before everything tanks. Cause I can put this in another place right about now. This this is a growth stock. I got Duke Energy in another portfolio of mine, but that's what it's for. For it is the growing sale. You don't get no big dividend out of it. I can stretch this money in another spot. Look and see what else I might want to do. What's getting beat up? TRTX was a good stock. I do remember seeing that new one. 862. Demi yield 10.8 cents. 10.86. I'm sorry. That's a good, that's a keeper. Global net lease is another one I want to get some more of them and come on down. Which that one not is not not dropping. That's a real estate REIT also. <clears throat> Another one I was swing trading. Pets was up three three thirty. I'm gonna wait for that to get around three dollars if it dropped. I buy some more of that. I done got SBSW today. That five dollars worth of that. Uh, ben Ellerton coming back down. Come on 
down in that one. Metal Fair's down under 19, 19, 19 bucks. It's another one I need the dollar cost average down, down, down in on his down days. XYLD was another one I noticed from yesterday. That's the brother and sister QY, LD, and RY, LLD. Never know how this market is. Get for the anyway, uh, $10 worth of that. That pays out monthly. It's another bond. You can catch this down. J and K pays a dividend yield around what well, this pays out seven percent. Pays out every month, and this is a bond, a high yielding bond too. So you can catch this here to come down. Fifty two week low is at eighty seven eighty. If you can catch that at ninety dollars and under, load 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 up on it because I sure will. Let me see J and K. But that's a bond. They're less less volatile. Um, uh, where else we going? Carver State Bank down 3% out of my buy range. I was thinking about selling these PFFDs and PFFs. Um, the PFFD and put them in QYLD and RYLD. You like Y. Cause it's a high dividend dividend yield. Um, I'm gonna have to go and show you the dividend yields on these. They don't have them, but this one here is 6.2 for PFFD. I can get a 12 point something, double that with RYLD or QYLD. So PFFD is a PFF, PFFD, and it's another one. Intel down 3.4. We don't win and did our thing on that one. And it's steady coming on down. Well, 18.75 now. I'm at $22. Was not was not bad. Um, uh, what else we got? First Energy. I think I should be up in this one too. 44.30 in Energy stock. 3.76% yield. Not is not bad. But right now I'm looking at cash, cash, cash flow. It's another one I'm about to put in the global X and stuff. Like all that look look cute. All that unrealized un unrealized gain, you up, but you ain't getting no money until you you sell it. That's what sucks about a growth, a growth, growth stock. Growth stocks are meant for you to grow and make and make and make money. You got to sell it to you got to sell it to make money. I mean, you can get that like three three per percent yield, and yes, a dividend growth stock. It grows the stock every year. Yeah, that's for the long term. But if you're trying to live off your money now, <clears throat> you might want to go with these monthly cash cash cash, cash flow. Um, and I need to trim my um portfolio for the the pos the positions I have in here. So. That's another reason why. Uh, PFFA, that's another one. Yield 8.85%. PFFA. I got a lot of growth stocks, with a lot of dividends. Well, these are already up. I brought them cheap. So PFFP, I got rid, rid, rid of. I got PFF in another portfolio. So I'm gonna go PFF. Let me get rid of these. These are these are nice, nice pay up, pay up, pay, pairs now. Not knocking these, but I am up in them. I got PFF in another one. PFFD. These are the top 10 holdings in these. Bank of America, Wells Fargo, all those that I got these stocks.
Like I said, I need to put this money in another place. I can come down and QILD and RYLLDs and still get a better, better dividend. All right, let this go back to where I picked up. Like I told y'all, it's going to be a long video. We got USOI. UAN is another one that I that I also like, 13%. I'm going to let this come back down some more. It's under the $70 range, 68 the way I like it. So I want to catch it when it's flat. OARK we did. We did all these. All these are the yield max ETFs. Jets is another one with the plain thing I'm up in. Get rid of that too. Don't don't really care for plain plain stocks. I was brought I brought it trying to dollar cost average on them, but the little bit that I did buy it shot up so quick that I wasn't able to buy it anymore. That's one less stock to worry about. NFL wise Netflix. This is the less volatile one too. some Netflix and a lot of the yield max uh the e the e ETFs are down because yet because yes yesterday was the ex dividend dates for them so um that's another reason ULTY three dollars worth for that like I say this the time for you to get your 100 shares and let it you can let it rip from there on out if you want want more you can go in harder another one um had a good dividend payout on yesterday was qqqy three dollars worth no need save a little bit of money trying to get my 100 shares gooy it's Google. Man, all right. NVDY is another one. NVIDIA. NVIDIA is down, getting beat down. QILD. I like QILD. Like I said, I need to come down. And this is a good swing, swing, swing trader. Get another hundred dollars worth. How many shares? I got I got twenty six sixty four. Got to get me 10, 10 shares a day, a little over 10. Boom on QILD. I got some buy order set, but I would, one thing about this one here, this would shoot right back up quick. And you see the trade value is 3.64. That's what it does. All right, y'all, that's all I'm doing for the day. Sorry for the long video, but guess what? Welcome to sep sep September, and we about to get it in. I said once this market takes off, interest rate cuts is this month on the 18th. You're going to see what happens. Uh, they say the worst date and week of September is the week of the September 20th. So we're going to see. Enjoy your day. I'll post more on the, on the weekend. Go get your money.